Whoops, I muted my microphone by accident and I started speaking. But oopsie doopsie, it's it's unmuted now. The 24 hour charity stream continues helping to support the Stollery Children's Hospital. So we did a full playthrough of Assassin's Creed Chronicles Russia. We did a smidge of Ring Fit Adventure, not the full three hours because I'm a little bit sickly still. We did a full playthrough of Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. We did a full playthrough of Deer Simulator. And while the original plan was to do like Metroid Prime Hunters and Firewatch, I think that those might just be saved for a later event is the plan. I just kind of want to chill at the end with some of our ongoing playthroughs. So we're doing a smidge of Pokemon Scarlet here is the plan. Not a smooth transition at all because all the images that are being loaded and stuff. We're hopping into some Pokemon Scarlet because it is currently a little bit before 11.30 p.m. I've been streaming since 6 in the morning. That's the case. This is only a couple days after Scarlet's released. I can't believe that I was up over 24 hours on the uh, release night of Scarlet, then up 8 hours the following day, and now I'm pushing 24 hours today again. It'll probably be closer to 26 hours because I wake up like an hour before uh, before the event and then, you know, go to sleep like an hour after the event ends. <coughs> Man. So our three main ongoing playthroughs on the channel right now are Pokemon Scarlet Violet, Mario and Rabbids, Sparks of Hope, and Persona 5. So three Switch games here. So because I kind of lose my mind a little bit when it comes to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, I was like, you know what? If we're going to spend the last like seven hours-ish of this stream doing playthrough stuff that's you know, ongoing on the channel. How about I start out with Pokemon Scarlet and then save, you know, the things I can chill with a lot better <laughs> for later on when I'm gonna be like really, really tired and, you know, really pushing my sleepness. I was actually at the max of my sleepness playing Metal Gear 2, wackily enough. Let's see if I wind up getting that tired again. Though I'm already a little bit tired, so we shall, uh, we shall see. So we'll do a smidge of Scarlet and then maybe some Mario Plus Rabbids and then maybe finish off with Persona 5. Maybe. That sounds chill. So we'll see if that winds up. We'll see if that winds up going. Or maybe we'll just, like, commit to this. And maybe I'll keep on playing and be like, wow, this is super fun now. Because, you know, I'm hearing good things about the gameplay. I've been playing Violet on and off the whole stream. Best way you can describe it so far is mixed bag. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. They're probably going to pass out soon. Been up since 4 a.m., which is, like, 22 hours ago. Worked early. But try to be up for asking. Wait, as long as you can stay up there. I do very much appreciate that they're tuned in for, you know, a long time to this very long event. It's crazy to think that, you know, already been alive for as long as we have since 6 a.m. until it just turned to 11.30 now. My goodness, 11.30 p.m. My good gracious, can I get in the water? Please don't teleport me back to the beginning of the- oh. Oh, just this happens. <laughs> Somebody just comes out of their house like, what the hell are you doing in my pool? Imagine. I love how I can just take my legendary motorbike for a swim in someone's pool. <laughs> Randomly, is the case. Yeah, I can't wait for some nice glitches. Oh, yeah. There will be plenty of those to see. Apparently, one of the glitches that a lot of people are getting is, like, an invisible wide legendary. And I've seen all these memes going around of, like, to the invisible boat mobile. I wish I knew how to activate it because it's so funny. But it seems to be happening to a lot of people. So when there's no legendary here and you're just, like, invisible, like, bouncing around like that, it's the funniest thing. I wish I knew how to activate. Another one that I've seen is people that, like, grow to super large size and their limbs, like, break when they're mounting it. It's so wacky. It happened to you for some frames, the Invisible Ride Pokemon? Huh. Man, I just got out from the main city from west? Alright. So not super far behind me, then. Also, for this 24-hour cherry stream, I usually like having meaningful rewards for these, uh, for these streams that, you know, aren't gonna add too much to my schedule if I'm really busy, like, nowadays. So I thought, how about rewards for this one? We have things like, uh, well, we have, you know, the normal things that we oftentimes have, like playing with oven mitts for 10 minutes or playing with blindfold for a while, which, uh, you know, was done a little bit during Assassin's Creed Chronicles Russia, but we haven't seen it for a little bit. And I was like, you know what? How about if we hit like a crazy amount, like 1K, then the community can vote for like a main party member for the Scarlet Pilot playthrough. But if any like one individual donates like a hundred bucks or more, they can just straight up choose a main party member that's going to be in the Pokemon Scarlet Violet playthrough. So I still don't know what my full team- What? This is the wrong layout here. I still don't know what my full team is going to be. Also the 500 total raised goal was my Enharmonia cosplay. So I'm wearing a- So I'm wearing this right now. And I've got things like, you know, the cube and stuff over here. Some of the parts are missing. I don't know where I put them. Um, yeah. So on that note, <laughs> Nishara, who is currently the top donor when it, you know, comes up down there has decided wiggle it it also it is also worth mentioning that like the asterisk there is like evolution line 
so we'd catch Wiglet, and would it would be fair game to evolve it. It is worth noting, whatever Wiglet evolves into. Also, the way that I set this up with the donation goal there at exactly 500 or 500 wackily enough, it looks a little bit empty and like something should be on the left. I wonder if I can, uh, what would be, I don't know. Should I even put something on the left? I think, um, wait, on layouts like this, do I have the, um, no, I think it was on the NES layout when we were doing things like Metal Gear earlier. Yeah, hold on. Whoa, 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 wait. One of the things that I have here, one of the image sources, if I just really quickly grab it, if I yoink this and we go back to the Scarlet Violet thing where Bob, and then we add it, then, and turn it on, here, we can add the freaking extra life logo. So boobity bop, now it's a little bit less empty, it's still kind of empty, but hey, you know, there's more stuff going on there now. This <laughs> is the, uh, case. I don't know. This layout was never designed to have some bar like this. I just, you know, slapped it on for the sake of this charity event because I was like, we might well be doing some Pokemon Scarlet during this event. And yeah, that's what we wound up doing here. So, where would I catch a- Oh my good gracious. Uh, well, we are off to a great start here, I see. Well, I can probably look it up on, like, Cerebi or something, right? So, I said from last time that I might take the time to look at the Pokedex and- Oh, no, it's Y. Um, Battle to Catch Pokemon to can buy volumes in a Pokedex app with fancier covers for Pokemon you've caught. Open up your Pokedex to view all the volumes you've collected on the digital shelf and check out what rewards you can earn by pressing the X button. Press the plus button when looking at Pokemon you've already in the Pokedex. You can check the Pokemon's habitat and learn more about where they can be found and where they're at. Explore different areas of your adventure with tons of Pokemon. Okay, uh, map was Y. I was getting my things mixed up there. Um, <coughs> yeah, didn't even take five minutes, huh? Anyway, I was talking about last time how, you know, maybe before the next session, I'd look into some Pokemon that might be cool to catch and see if I could just go around and catch them. I did not have enough time to do that. From when we wrapped up the stream last night, I didn't even have enough time to get like a full eight hours of sleep before starting this 24 hour event, so. You know, my uh, my sleep isn't in the best situation. I didn't have the time to uh, to do that because I was either sleeping or streaming here for the past like most of a day at this point. You know, but yeah. Glad that video game critics proved enough independence as to give this game a lower score than all past Game Freak Pokemon games. At the same time, watching streams seems to make you feel that this game is better than it has any right to be. Like the gameplay is definitely really good. Then I feel like I've yet to get to the point where you know it's reached that. But you know, I've heard good things about the gameplay so far. Um. Anyway, I didn't get the chance to look into any, but if Wiglet is one, let's see here. Pokemon Scarlet Violet Pokedex. <laughs> I'm still a little bit under the weather, so I'm still going to be coughing from time to time. Where can I uh, find this? So, Control F, Wiglet. Let's see here. Apparently, it's a water type. So, um, let's see here. East Province Area 2. So that's probably the first place that we can get it, right? In the main area from Los Platos goes south from the beach. What's- oh. This? South from the beach. Like this beach? That's the closest beach there. Um, but yeah. The first thing it says here is East Province Area 2. So, where is East Province Area 2? Doesn't show it. Well, I don't know. So, are we going wiglet hunting now? Yes, there. So south from here? So around my house, are you saying? We'll go past the lighthouse. But south of here would just be my house. Just so mean like south around here? Or wait. Hold on. Whoa, 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 wait. So wait. What way do I have this turn? Go to Los Patos. Oh. It's turned like this. Well, which way is north even? It'd be nice if there was a compass. Oh, wait. Is there a compass? Is that what's on the bottom left? Nope, it doesn't change at all. Wait. So which way is north? So does that lock it into, like, that's north, then? Is that what's going on there? Wait. Because, yeah, the map wasn't quite set up right there. It was turned weirdly. So south from that beach, there's just ocean there. Inlet Grotto? I mean, I can check out, you know, behind the thingamabob is what I can do. Sure, let's fly to this spot. Because, yeah, we're going wiglet hunting. There were a couple others as well that, uh, <laughs> that 
are able to redeem having a main Pokemon for this uh, playthrough. It is worth noting. But so far, the only one that has been decided, it seems like, is Wiglet. So that's what we're doing. Follow the river stream until going to the beach. That beach is Wiglet. Wait. This? Wait. This beach? Like that? You mean? Hold on. <laughs> so I'll go over here. I'll have a look-see. Oh, I like that little loading thing, Bob. That's kind of cute. Um, so this away, I guess. So this away, I guess. So this so this so this. Oh. Guess we're not going up that way. I guess I can go through this way though, so it's fine. South Province Area One. All right, there's a bunch of Fletchinders, or Fletchlings. Yoink. I said yoink. How do I pick it up? How do I pick it up? Gosh darn it! Not what I wanted to do. Not even close there. Well, I guess I can just smack a review like there's enough level difference here. I would just do that. I guess. Alright, bam! A level up for me right now. Um, Let's see here. I don't know. Get rid of Tail Whip. Ask for- wait! Ask for advice? I just now noticed that that was an option there. Well, oh, the lighting's going crazy again, as happens. Ah, uh, Spear Bear. No, I ran into another one! <laughs> Gosh darn you, game. Wait, am I fighting two? That one... Uh, what is... What is happening? What is ha... Every time I'm moving the camera, it goes to shadow, and every time I stop moving the camera, it just... My goodness, this is insane. Yeah, Disco Grass, that's what's going on here. Um, is it bike Pokemon, or is it only a bike at the moment? I think, like, only a bike at the moment. Well, you're basically in a good catch list state, so I may as well. So I may as well. I assume that towards the end of the game, well, um... Oh, that's floating! Oh, and the lighting's going crazy! Oh, yep, this is, uh, that's just how this game works, yep. That's... Oh, yeah, it's going crazier, too. Well, the Yeah, sure, learn Magical Leaf there. Sure. Uh, maybe replace Leafage? That's 40, that's 60. This is a physical move. Um, our physical attack is higher than our special attack, but only about one point. I don't know, I'll just take up Scratch, I guess. We had 10 minutes and 3 glitches, let's break a record. Yeah, that's just the Scarlet Violet experience. That's just... That's just what you're in for when you play this game. Oh, yeah, there's the lighting going a little crazy again. Um, this Pokemon is normally calm, but once it enters battle, its hormonal balance changes and it becomes aggressive. It gets, <laughs> it gets overtaken by its hormones in battle. It just gets so freaking horny the moment that it, uh, <laughs> that it enters a battle. Um... Uh, no! Gosh darn it! Well, I was gonna do like a nickname or something like that. I'll, sure, I'll swap out Psyduck for now, I guess. That's what I'll do. You can probably nickname in the menu whenever you want, right? You can keep six Pokemon in your party at once. Any other Pokemon can be sent to your Pokemon box. You can save keeping. From the main menu, you can select your box and open them up. From there, choose Pokemon and swap it out. Yeah. <laughs> Does this game have to be like this? I don't know. I just tap the every time I just tap the stick it... yep this is a uh, cool anyway um, one thing that is worth mentioning some reward one reward idea that I have thought about doing for cherry streams before is that those who donate like X amount would be able to have like Pokemon from some playthrough of mine like transferred over them like not my mainstays but just you know the random ones caught along the way that have silly names and stuff like that like a little a souvenir of the channel you could say something like that so you know we're still really early on into the scarlet violet playthrough so it wouldn't be the case for you know something like this at this point i mean one day when this playthrough is done maybe next charity event maybe that'd be a thing there where if anyone you know would be interested in you know random <laughs> random pokemon caught throughout the adventure like me right now the side duck you know could uh that could be a thing with bob there yeah game freak woke up the 18th and chose mayhem i guess so also, it looks like that bar is like one pixel away from the right side, and it's bugging me. So let's see here. Where exactly did I put it on? Where did I put it on the layout? Let's see here. 
right so it is right here so if i go to edit and i increase the size by a couple like that then does that reach the right side i think it does i no longer see a little red line there anyway yeah, so there's that, so that might be a future thing of off. So can you rename a Pokemon at whatever point? Make me leave Pokemon. So let's see here. Um, oh, but you can't change nickname from wherever like you could in Legends Arceus. That sucks. Unless you can do it in summary or something. Um, oh, yes, you can. Cool. <coughs> That's neat. Well, what do we do for the freaking horny bird? <laughs> what the heck do we do here is the question. The fire bird. What is the, uh, what is the correct option here? Wait, didn't last stream Eagle redeemed, like, a name in advance for another thing? This is why you should never request names in advance, because I don't remember what he redeemed anymore. But he, after ray tracing, he requested something else in advance, and I don't remember what it is. <laughs> Quite frankly. It was something or other. But I, uh, I don't remember. I do not remember. I always thought the Talonflame was a pretty cool Pokemon, though. Um... See people fall from edges under the map. Oh, boy. Well, um, what's a cool flaming bird? I mean, we could play into, uh, I think it was stable FPS. I think it was, actually. For a, uh, for a freaking flaming bird, though, I was just thinking that something like, uh, you know. I don't know if there's enough room for, like, Phoenix Wright as a reference to those games, but probably just, like, Phoenix is rather fitting for that. Maybe I'll do that for now and some random other Pokemon that gets caught will be called a stable FPS in that case. Because that's probably fitting, right? Because it becomes a, becomes a flaming bird that I might never use, but we'll see. But we shall see. So Wiglet's around here, huh? Carbos. Oh yeah, Nishara, if you're still here, if I catch a Wiglet and you want to name it, let me know. <laughs> let me know that. Because yeah, look, there's a Wiglet's. <laughs> Oh, it, tugged, it ducked away. Very slow swimmer. So wait, do I have to sneak up? Ah. I guess I have to sneak up. Right? Yeah, so we gotta do this. Yeah, it's not super great, is it? Oh, come on. Oh, come on! You were saying. <laughs> you were saying there. Alright, look, this other one's over here. <laughs> oh, that mountain got a little bit weird. Do I have to sneak up behind them? Throw your Pokemon at it? Uh. There go the Wiglets. I'm getting Wiglet sand, apparently. Uh. So... The music's nice, at least, here. Music is at least quite nice. Um, Diglett Senpai? I don't know if there's enough room for that, but we can see. I think it's 12 characters. I think that's more than 12 characters. Yeah, I think that that's the cap. That is not who I want to aim at remotely. Not even close, but okay, I guess I'm fighting you now. Something. But yeah, my, this game you saw all the bugs this game has, and it's something. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Hawks, now that you're here, I can say I appreciate the $5 donation earlier. I think I didn't notice when you first did it. I think I was, like, distracted by Metal Gear being all crazy. So I only noticed it way after, and I feel embarrassed, and I apologize. That's the case. Bam! <laughs> okay. Well, if not, Wigman. <laughs> all right, we'll have a look-see there. Only level three! Gosh dang it. Do I have anyone that can weaken you down better? Um, not exactly here. Um, oh, I can put on a uh, status effect. Make you easier to catch, at least. I have a couple premier balls. You are a go ray tracing! <laughs> you are literally the color spot from your ball. So, I mean, uh. Alright, well, let's go ahead and stun spore. Is what we'll do. But yeah, usually when I'm doing Pokemon playthroughs and stuff, I usually like, you know, coming up with team combinations and throwing together a bunch of favorites. But, you know, for this, I was like, you know, for a good cause, let's, you know, let's just have it be that, you know, people can choose, you know, Pokemon for my playthrough. So that's where Wigglet is coming from, is the case. Because, hey, this is probably going to be a wacky game anyway. So, uh, whoa, that's, whoa, that's a weird reflection effect. So I was like, hey, 
it's for a good cause. And then, you know, the Pokemon that get added because of that are like a memento to help like support a good cause, you know? Get the impression that many of the bugs are bad in a delightful way or more of a basis for eye rolling than actual frustration. I mean, I'm frustrated at the fact that this is a game that was shipped out and sold for full price, you know? During Ring Fit, it was when you said you didn't dodge yourself last time and don't be a bit. Okay, so I guess I just knew I was it during Metal Gear then. <coughs> Pokemon get flung away and you just dig due to more glitches. That's funny what happens unless it's a shiny. Well, <laughs> fun story during lockdown, people were FaceTiming the eels that Wiglet is based off of so the eels could stay used to seeing people's faces. What, in like aquariums or something like that? Or places where they'd be, like not, obviously not wild eels, right? Uh, the Pokemon can pick up the scent of a Veluza just over 65 feet away and will hide itself in the sand. Well, Wiglet. How much was the game over there in Canada? $80. Um, Wiglet. So, Diglet Senpai, huh? Is there enough room for that? Diglet, is it 1G or, uh, is it 2? Because I can, uh, yeah, 80 CAD is a thing. I can just Google it really quickly. Diglet. It's two T's, apparently. One G, but it's two T's. Apparently. Um, but if I do, um... If I took out a T, it would fit. <laughs> ah! If I took out one T, it would fit. Is, uh... <laughs> Is that the play? Is that the play? Or do we go with Wigman? <laughs> what is the play here? <coughs> Which of the two? Because we can do that and it just fits into 12. But you know, it's not quite... <laughs> These parameters are acceptable. Well, vote Diglett Senpai. <laughs> oh, and hello, hello, the frazzy one. I'm just now noticing. My goodness gracious. I'm sorry, there's a lot of purple names in chat. So I thought when I saw one and then one G, I was reading that like, oh, that's someone whose name I've already been reading. Not someone that's just stopping it. <laughs> so the... Stopping into the stream in a stream. Whoops. Sometimes this happens. Especially when I've been streaming for a long time. Well. I guess we now have a Diglett Senpai added to the party. So, I don't know. I'll probably do like this then. <laughs> this is what we'll do. Alright. So, new Pokemon has been registered. Wiglet. <laughs> you know how that's like. Not noticing someone new come in because the name color is the same. Well. <laughs> Well, time to add you to the layout, I guess. Alright, and you have paralysis. You're gonna take a little while to level up. So let me see here. Wiglet. There's gotta be an official art for this already, right? That I can just use here. Heck yeah. Quick PNG. Um, PNG, no background, can I say? Maybe, because I don't really want to crop up the background myself. Oh, here we go. Heck yeah. So save image as. And this is Wiglet. Boobity bop. And what kind of font do we use for the, uh... For the name. I think I'm gonna move freaking <laughs> Eagles Ray Tracing Hop it over then. Is what I'm gonna do. Because yeah, with a name like that, probably best at the end and you know, you know, as a temporarily temporary addition that we have right now, I guess. Sure, we'll do that. And we'll fit that in here. But yeah, been a while your mental stamina impresses you. I try. I try my best here. <laughs> Let's see here. But yeah, Sonics were just like WTF. We're not next, are we? All right, let's see here. FPS and te FPS issues and texture disappearing is problematic for a full price game. A rare bug here and there can be funny, but constant glitches just no. Yeah, it just happens like every couple minutes in this game. Well, that might be being generous. But incidentally, you've yet to hear of anyone getting soft locked in this game like has happened in BDSP. Well, hopefully there's no soft locks then at least. All right, got now. We get all the way to the folder. So then, let's see here. So Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And then Pokemon. And then we add you. <laughs> so, um... We can do, like... This-ish. So, on the layout, that is Wiglet 1. And then copy and paste duplicate. And then Wiglet 2 here is going to have filter, color correction. Turn the brightness all the way down. And turn the opacity to 95. So let's see here. 95%. So it becomes a bit of a shadow. Put Wiglet 1 on top of Wiglet 2. Like that. And then we move Wiglet 2 over to create a shadow effect. So like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pixels, let's say. 1, 2, 3 down. 
And probably some more over. Yeah, something like that-ish. Something like that-ish, I'd say. So, let's see here. I don't know what games makes me more mad. This game or BDSP. It's kind of sad that you put one generation launch like this. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree there. So what kind of font will we do for, uh, for Ticklet Senpai then? So let's see here. I can just add a basic text GDI. I can make something fancier in my, like, graphic design software later. But, you know, we can make something simple for now. That's what we can do. But what font is the question? So if we write Nicholas Senpai like that, and we do as we do, adding a uh, outline of uh, black like that, because it'll look a little bit better that way. A large and skinny font. Let's see here. <laughs> when it comes to a skinny font, here's the Assassin's Creed font. Uh, probably not that. Probably not that, I would imagine. Um, wait, this is the one I use in ray tracing, right? Yep, that's the one I use in ray tracing. Um, I, I can't see font previews in OBS. I can in my graphic design software, but I can't. Oh, I can see like a very small preview. <laughs> Aerial rounded. Oh, let's see here. Um, no, where did I select the fonts again? Did the prompt for the font just go away? What? Hold on. Did the properties again? There we go. Now it selects font. I had to close it and open it again. The prompt disappeared. Okay, with well, this game in BDSP, you're scared about Gen 5 remakes? Yeah. It's a bit concerning. What font is this? It's been a while since I've used that. I mean, that's something weird with the T, though. That's the case. Oh, weird. Um, let's see here. Light and skinny, huh? I have a lot of fonts on my computer. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, what's this one? I mean, I have some pretty silly ones around. I do have some silly ones. Like, um, wait, what's this one? When did I get this? Oh my good gracious, that's probably a bit long. I have the, uh, what's a Pikmin font called again? Thinking about silly ones. Oh, here's the uh, Fire Emblem Fates font. <laughs> There's like the menu font of Fire Emblem Fates, funnily enough. Um, hold on. This is the Pikmin font. <laughs> is what it is. <laughs> That's a, uh, that might be potentially fitting. I don't know. Probably not the Legend of Zelda text. Joker man. Oh, gross. Oh, grody. Pikmin fits? I think Pikmin's rather fitting here. Pikmin title kind of font. Whoops. Let's see here. So, um, also like the Pikmin one. Alright, but now the question is, how are we gonna get it in here? <laughs> Just have it, like, above or something? Because it's a long name, is the thing. Gosh darn it. This is where things get tricky. I should spa- You know what? Before next stream, how about I space out these Pokeballs? Because, you know, there is a little bit of space over here anyway. I can spread these out a little bit more. I'll I'll do that before next time. Is what I'll maybe do. But for now, it's just going to be really small there. And then we, um... I'm going to have to, you know, just kind of do this for now. <laughs> this is what we're going to have to do. And then, uh... But yeah, can you put the, uh... Diglett and Senpai beneath one another? Oh! Let's see here. You're thinking like, whoops. Thinking like that? <laughs> and then I move ray tracing back. <laughs> like that. Tiglet Senpai. <laughs> like this. <laughs> well. Alright, now we copy. And we paste duplicate. And then, uh, they got Senpai 2, and then filters, and then color correction, and then brightness all the way down, and put one on top of two, and we move two over a smidge to create that, like, shadow effect, that more 3D effect. <laughs> well, maybe just like this, then. Something like that in that case. Tiglet Senpai? <laughs> well, <laughs> this is life now. 
I guess this, uh, I guess this is life now. But yeah. Now, doesn't Karidon deserve the seventh space? It's there in spirit. I actually thought about doing that. Using that spot to put, like, a thing above Karidon. It's something that I thought about. But looking at the way names have gone so far, I'm thinking that the Pokeball should be spread out before next stream. I'm not gonna do that on stream. Do that between sessions, but, uh... Yeah, <laughs> Diglett Senpai, then. That's what we got. Live Wiglet reaction. There it is. Well... Diglett Senpai is gonna need some uh, level ups and stuff. Oh, there's pop. Oh, there's more popping. That's the way it be. All right. So do we want to go back to the bug gym now? I don't think I'm prepared for it quite yet. Like we can try it, maybe. I don't know. Wait, I just gotta no zoom into the uh, town. Like let's see here. Sure, let's fly to this spot. <laughs> Man, wish I could recover from this cold faster. <laughs> 